Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper 1. Uh, I think you can see that, but that is the fire from Pinnacle Mountain. Uh, Table Rock is right to the right. And uh, fire... Um, trying to contain it. They actually did a back burn trying to stop it over there, because if they can't stop it there, if it jumps that line, then the next place they're going to have to fall back is uh, very close to my house. Probably an eighth of a mile away. Maybe a little bit, maybe a quarter mile. Um, if that's results, it'd be catastrophic for the Table Rock State Park because they will have to back burn a lot of forest. Um, but because of the terrain so rough, it's not a lot of options where you can do a back burn and where you can have some control of it. So that's the fire right there. It's getting close to like 3,000 acres. So I've been very, very busy. I still got a lot to do, get some more leaves blowing. Um, never feel like you're totally prepared last night was difficult sleeping actually because i just could smell it i mean it window shut it comes in the house um luckily the wind has shifted a little bit so what have i been doing um, leaves moving them away from buildings there's just so many i, I don't have any place to put them literally so I've been blowing leaves, and actually I've been I cut the grass so I can get rid of a lot of the leaves that were in the grass, um, mulch them up. It seemed to work really well. Whole piles of leaves just disappeared. Definitely a little bit safer than having piles of leaves. At this location, this is just for spot fires, some buckets, uh, low tech. I like low tech. Pump goes out, you're in trouble. This, as long as you got a strong back, you can sling water. I got a 275 gallon tote behind the chicken coop hooked up with a little pump. And that's my concern here is my Leland's. This morning, early, it was terrible out here. But luckily the wind has shifted. So what else have I been doing? I have water and lots of water. That right there is the best firefighting tool you can have. A backpack blower, push leaves away from the building. Um, the best. I had three different water points and there's no way I could man it. Now I have a lot of people that could come help me. So during that time, yes, I could because people could man. But I didn't want to have to move my pumps around. Um, I have one pump and then my other pump was acting up terribly. So my brother knows a guy um, which worked out great. Um, it's, it's Ohio Valley uh, Barge Supply Company. They put these together. But the neat thing is the engines are made by a, a local company, um, LCT. So a big shout out to those guys. My brother told me I was having problems with one of my pumps. He said, come by and get one, no problem. Just come get it. Um, so that was a blessing. He didn't charge me a penny. He says, you know, if you need to protect your house, let's do it. So a sh big shout out to those guys, man. Um, it's really helped. So I have two pumps, um, but one could go down in a minute. So uh, this one's going to go down into the creek and put a lot of water on the lower part of my buildings, um, the, sh the shed down there, all of the woods. And then this pump will stay up here to pump water. I have right here I have 10 totes another two additional totes in the sh outdoor shower uh, four totes hooked up behind the building 1600 gallons here and then I have uh, one tote that can go in my pickup truck so I have a lot of water I probably have about 6,000 gallons of water uh, without resupplying I've already laid my hose out uh, I'll have a hose running to the lower part and then a hose running back to the house um, I have probably 600 feet, no, probably more than 600 feet of just regular garden hose laid out. Um, it can do a lot on a, on a leaf fire or spot fire. Don't discount a garden hose, uh, especially if you're there right when it starts. So I moved everything pretty much over here. I would have to move a pump from this location about 20 feet to the back. That's not a problem. So in actuality, I will be running the pumps. Um, and my wife will be running one of the hoses. Now I have people coming to help me. Um, so I like the point of one water because then if it happened at 3 o'clock in the morning and I had no friends, it's just me and my wife Becky, I could get the pump running, she can run the hose. Um, 
and then I could uh, keep it running. What I've done is, as you can see, the gator, gator locks, the quick clamps. I have two of these. So one would be for the top one, and the second one will be for the bottom one. So after I pump one dry, the other one will already be hooked up. I'll just have to quickly switch it on the pump, take me about 30 seconds, and we're back in business. Hopefully we don't need all of this. Um, we got a lot of guys working the fire, and we have a lot of engines and brush trucks standing by for um, structure protection. But as a prepper, I don't rely on other people. I rely on myself. Uh, the best person to take care of me is me. Um, so I'm not that concerned. We're going to have a lot of help in here. If they have to do the backfire, it is not going to be far. It's going to be right through the woods there. And they'll try to burn it back there to stop it. Um, so that's what's happening here. I haven't made videos because I've been busy. Um, I am not prepared for a brush fire or, or a house, or excuse me, a wildland fire at all. I mean, I'm a lot prepared more than the average person by far. No hand, no questions asked. But there was a lot of things I had to do. Um, now I'm at the point now where I have a plan and I can implement that plan hopefully in about a minute or two. Um, so I've had to shuffle some things, change some of my ideas around. But I think I'm, I'm ready. Today I'm going to be blowing leaves, uh, waiting some things down. I don't think uh, I'm in danger today or even tomorrow, um, but you never know. Um, the other day we were getting a lot of ash on the house. Now it was nothing, no embers, but it was just ash. And I also was getting a lot of big leaves that were very high that were being uh, blown up from the fire and coming across and landing. Um, so really I've had no hot embers land, that was just really good. Uh, just a lot of ash. So that's what I've been doing. So think about fire protection for your homestead. In a raw event, without rule of law, SHTF, hypothetically there is no firefighters, professional, volunteer, wildland firefighters, there's nothing. If this fire would have started under those env in that environment with the amount of drought we had, it would have already exploded past my house. So if you're a prepper, are you prepared to protect your retreat, your homestead, your house? It's going to take a concerted effort. It's going to take training. It's going to take equipment. It's going to take a water supply. I want to build a pond on my property. I have a couple springs just to give me some more water. If I had a, a nice pond, even if it was only a small pond, 40, 50,000 gallons, I would be a little bit uh, more at ease. Because when those totes are out and you can't resupply, uh, that's a, probably a little scary. So I'm doing good. Um, air quality here is terrible. Last night when I slept, I just smell it. It just seeps into you, seeps into your clothes. Right now it's great because the wind is blowing the other direction. This Saturday, they're expecting high winds up to 17 miles an hour and then higher gusts. So that could do some things, push the fire around. Hopefully they can get it under control. Thanks for watching.